All right, hello, good afternoon, and thank you for making it Gold Buster Sports Night. Newell High, four points from eight games. Stets, 12 points from eight. The St. Elizabeth Technical team currently stands in the third with 12 points and the Newell team at the bottom of the table on four points the Stets team they tied with B.B. Coke who will play Monroe College today and B.B. Coke also on 12 points and the Stets team they need goals and they need three points to hold that second spot. The Monroe team though comfortable in the first place position on, on the standings with 18 points if they can get all three points versus BB Coke at home they will move on to 21 points and a maximum of 21 points no team can reach 21 so, the Costa Cup 2024, Stets versus Newell from the St. Elizabeth Technical Sports Complex. I am a goal of Buster. I want to thank you for making it goal at Buster Sports Note as we bring to you schoolboys of football. Let me give you the starting lineup for the visitors in, in goal at Shavar Simit. Lamario Anderson 17, 16, Jedan Roden, Kevin McDonald 15, Tafari Williamson 13, 12 is Jelani Thompson, Keneal Bell 10, Jordan Morgan 9, 8, Timoy, Timoy Myers 7, Jovi Salmon, and Kemar Vassa completes. Starting lineup for the for the Newell team. The St. Elizabeth Technical team made one change to their team that had a victory over the BB Coke team on Saturday, where number sixteen Raheem White. In for number 12, Banta, Kenoy, Banta. So the starting lineup, John Oy Stedman in the goal, Javon right through, Rahul Hill, six, Justin McPherson, seven, Jade Lynch, eight, nine, Ke Kahima Lewis, DeAndre Barnett, ten, Dante Hewitt, thirteen, Najee Brown, 22 and a Jordan Blake 23 here's attack and a new man in white Barnett with a shot it is low but a, a intention that is clear it's this team they need goals and they need lots of goals to have a good goal difference as a job on right so the this test team coming off a victory the newell team they coming off a, a loss to Rakovia. so uh, as this test team they punch forward again person who had a brace versus the BB Coke team. Uh, 
Anderson on that left hand side and good uh, defending from Brown. So uh, a matter of goals, a matter of, of getting goals for the East Test team. And uh, second place beckons as a BB Cole team who's also on 12 points. Play Monroe College. As a person is the ground. Of a challenge, challenge of uh, Jovi Summer, free kick steps. So, uh, not a back venue just yet, but uh, so the this team has Lewis with his first free kick of the Lacosta Cup campaign. So I guess coach Omar Rambo Redburn has seen something in the number nine player. So let's see if he can prove it to us here as we approach five minutes. Kahim Lewis with a free kick. On the wall. And straight in the arms of goalkeeper Smith. Shavar Smith. So, team that. They were beaten five by BB Coke in their first game. And from then, it's mostly four. They, they had a, a point. They, they, they draw against the Stets team in Noel and uh, defeated the Lakova team 4-1. So, uh, we're a team that we have a bit of quality. The youngsters team to you it. Giving away position onto Roden. Free kick, Newell High. So, uh, Summer has a Thompson is playing on the left side, number 12. It's my years old. And it's on to Roden, who has one possession. Free kick for the Newell team. So, number 12, Thompson, Jelani Thompson, with this free kick. Down the wall, and not a bad attempt, but the ball was swerving away from target. And General Stedman not taking any chances. Corner kick, Newell high. Thompson again in penalty area, very partially away. Thompson again back in the penalty area. Goal kick. So the, the test team building, not a bad start. 
you need an early goal to get some confidence in. Big bitch. It's a nice turn. Intercepted. Right there. No team in position. Played all the way back here is a McPherson uh, playing a little bit slow. There's a leg. No team they come again, but you need quality. Long ball, that ball in knee will come back. Yeah. A shot. Road number 16 has a blade and the place to keep it in. On to Barnett. Much closely from Williamson. Goal kick. So 10 minutes has been played and uh, Meyer is here. He's up and off for the run of number 10, Bell. And now the whistle comes. He, he was being held back from number 10, Bell. And now the whistle comes as he steps in with the start again. So, the Costa Cup Zone E action you're watching. Let me thank you again for making it a goal of Buster Sports Note. As we. Uh, Going to you, schoolboys football. Ball fell nicely for Blake. And Blake, who couldn't control as Williamson, who plays forward. Road couldn't control. Barnet with space. Barnet who switches the play. There's a ball inside, uh, and uh, they need to, to relax, they need to have composure. Yeah. It's not a hard game, it's uh, making it hard for themselves just to uh, keep that one down, hold your composure, you mentally prepare. As a, this case, they has one possession again. Cross. Jadon Roden, who couldn't control. Is it Blake? So, corner kick. So, corner kick as a Barnett. And the back post, headed back. And a second consecutive corner. And I, number 10. Barnett will go across to take this one. As a, seems as if they will start it quick, short. As a, on first thing. To Lynch looking for a player that is on the outside as a, he had to turn back and switch back the direction of play. Play that one through. And a, a good tackle here on White. There's a Lewis. Lewis. Going up white. Ball swung inside, flicked on. Goal kick. So, uh, 14 minutes. Uh, it's just deep there. They're having a look at goal, but. Not able to find the target. Free kick. Stets. So, the uh, Stets team has a Kahim Lewis will get a second chance to whip that one in. 
So number nine, Kaim Lewis. On the wall. One. Nil. Absolute beauty from the number nine player at the back post. And uh, a brilliant free kick there from Kahim Lewis to make it 1 0 here for the Stets team. 15 minute strike from number 9 Kahim Lewis. So, Coach Omar Rambo Witteburn has a scene. Potential in the number nine player and has uh, installed the number nine player as a uh, uh, free kick specialist. So, uh, uh, and uh, uh, Lewis has proved to the fans here that he can do the job and uh, a brilliant free kick at the back post and uh, beating a goalkeeper, Shabar Smith, to make it 1 0 here for the St. Elizabeth technical team. So it, it took uh, Stets team 15 minutes to, uh, to uh, get the opener. opener. And, uh, so inconsistency, uh, that's uh, uh, what has been plaguing the officials. So, clear handball and then uh, free kick. Infringement follow and uh, have to play the game as you see it as referees. All right, so uh, seems to be uh, Thompson, it seems to be Jelani Thompson, the player that. Not a bad attempt from the number nine. But that ball was dipping just off target. As a number nine player has cemented his spot in the attacking midfield role. Here he is. Coach. Wedderburn has, has, has seen the number nine potential and, and installed the number nine. He came here as a striker. But, uh, uh, now he has been appointed as a uh, as a number 10. Here he is. And about very too far away. As a Barnet out wide to right, Barnet with space. Play that one through on to Justin McPherson. McPherson, he had to stretch as Williamson came forward. Roden has been forced to turn back on to Williamson. Morgan, who plays over the top for, for Roden. Barnett. Yes. 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 So it's team there. getting some touches. And a good control there from White. First start for the number 16. So good. Yeah. Cover. As a Barnett too. Played on to McPherson. McPherson has lost possession again. So, 
play it back. Nice Kill it. Nice balance. Nice shape from the defensive unit. Really too hard there. So, I mean, the team there are down as a summon under a bit of pressure. Right Morgan trying to skip away. Good challenge. Barnett. Lewis. So the sensible technical team there are playing well. Need more goals. Raheem White has done well to get back. Lynch. inside onto Barnett. There is a McPherson. It is wide. Too wide for Lewis. So in. Jade Lynch. So in. So a 15-minute strike from Kaim Lewis. That's the difference. 23 minutes. Shove in the back. And as the right there, right there, Joshua. Well, team, they come again to Roden. And good interception. Roden has recovered. Williamson. Side to three. Myers. Bell. Free kick. Noel. So, free kick. Noel. Joe Bissaman. Low. Found McDonald, but McDonald was robbed off the ball. As a new team, switches right there, right there. The direction of play. Press him, man. Press him. Press him. Williams, you know, throw back to a Fossil. So Bella. Uh, no, I think not, not bad there. Yeah. Playing it all around there. Yeah. Yeah. This team, they look more dangerous when they're going forward as Lewis, who had to turn back. Right. Nice ball into McPherson and McPherson around someone and uh, someone has done well to one possession. So McPherson stayed down. All right, so Justin McPherson is off receiving treatment. Raheem White, though, is, is winning the duels. He's doing a good job on that right flank for his first uh, start. Unit. 
Ryan White. Nice ball, brother. Barnett could control. 28 minutes. So, Justin McPherson will not continue. Oh, that's oh, oh. So the passing up front is. Not on point, not precise as adjusted McPherson is uh, forced off due to injury. Big blow for the Stets team as, uh, as uh, Shemar Stewart will get in. So, Come on, take the on to now, Bell. Time. And Bell who turns the shot right off target. Now the substitution Elvin. can come. Elvin. So Shemar Stewart is in and uh, Justin McPherson first half sub. Uh, seems as if it's an ankle injury as a number seven player is off it's Myers who go forward played it across Anderson played back and then now the it's the steam and the ball swung up front it's too hard to get my total position so, Williamson all the way back to summer. Yeah, man, and I play with them too much without technical. The steamers. Yeah. That's Marvin. Brown. All the way back to Hewitt. Now, yeah. Uh, both people had the chance to uh, pass that one out. Good transition. Ball uh, uh, over the top onto. Uh, that wasn't Stuart Ball, but uh, uh, he was talking. That's uh, so number nine, Lewis, was talking. Uh, Stuart who goes forward. So, uh, not knowing the nature of, of, of the injury. First goal! McPherson will uh, definitely give uh, an update. It's half time. There's a Hewitt. There's a Lewis. On to Sterling. Spite. Raheem White. The pig. Uh, Williamson has done well. Vassal can get that one forward. Morgan. Williamson. We have controlled it from. from the, McDonald. Throwing. So the 
goal played back and Stewart has one possession looking for a pass and played inside but Myers getting back so long throw back to to right and straight to goalkeeper Smith 34 minutes and uh, score remains the same ball on to uh, Blake it's Blake oh and Blake couldn't get it as Myers as a it's Blake again move inside on to Lewis on for Stewart he slides it he fumbles over the ball Martin played over the top. Good challenge there. The new team they go forward through Bell. And there. Okay, All right, so throwing with eight minutes to go in this first half. And, uh, ball thrown forward. Blake played that one inside on to Stuart. Oh, and uh, too close to goalkeeper Smith. And that's a chance gone. And, uh, uh, Stuart, he needs to be more aggressive towards the ball. As a lynch. Uh oh, and he miscontrols for the first time. McDonald ball over the top. So, a good composure from, from Brown. There's a Lewis on the overlap is a Raheem White. Still White and a corner kick coming up here for the test team. So, Number 10, DeAndre Barnett. Corner kick. Stets. As a good score line coming from the Monroe school grounds. There's a Monroe team there leading one mil over. Maybe call cares a header. And, uh, throw in Stets on to Lewis. Barnett, and now you need to watch your line. Ball swung across. Now the flag is up on Jordan Blake. As a this team though they need more goals with five minutes to go a new L team open space from Bell played wide for Anderson and a nice ball flicked inside and a penalty awarded so penalty awarded to the new L team and the Brown has brought down Anderson and the Newell team in with a penalty. All right, so number 10, Kenny Bell from 12 yards. 
and I can equalize here for the Newell team. 42 minutes and number 10 Kenny Bell versus John Stedman in goal and a save by John Stedman and Stedman has a dive the right way and a made a good save he has been practicing in a training as a Stuart and now let's test steam as a Kenny Bell penalty that and a ball is swung across headed down as a shot right off target from Lewis so two minutes of time to go and Stuart he needs to control he needs to be more composed he's a, a good striker but he he needs to to take control of his ball and uh, uh, find a, a pass ball over the top here's a header and uh, here's Lewis and save as a Myers as a, a Morgan for the new team number nine continue his his run throwing get up Jimmy get up text all right so uh, Lewis is off we're into stoppage time. Right. No, go on, go on, go on, go on. Stuart. And uh, Stuart who turns and shoot. You need to get that one on target or you, you set up your teammate. Goal kick. As a, a, Anderson. So we are into additional time and I'm not sure how much time Melvin Reed has had. There's a Blake. Blake! Oh! Hit the crossbar and back out. There's a Blake again. Still Blake. And uh, got that one across. Lewis, yeah. Stuart, he needs to turn. Oh, and that one is over the top. Here we go. Here, Blake again. He's in. Play that one inside. Here's a shot. Oh, and across the face. And the number nine is Lewis. He's a getting chances, the number nine. Here goes the first 45 1 0 is the scoreline. 15 minutes strike from Kahima Lewis.